Guess what religion she is today? Today I visited a Hare Krishna temple. Hair, y'all. Do y'all hear it? Hair Krishna. Anyway, welcome back. Today we're discussing our favorite goddess, Trisha Paytas. Now, a lot of you sent me so many videos asking me to like react to her stuff and like, what are your thoughts, blah, blah. So I thought I'm making a quick video. Oh my God, is that a bad omen? <laughs> my ring just flew. Anyway, oh my God, can I just show you my engagement slash crystal ring? I'm not engaged, but you know, you gotta do it. It is citrine for money. Okay, listen, Trisha changes her religion, her race more often than I change my XL maxi pad. Not shocking, she's done this all the time. I think she was like Jewish like two hours ago and now she's Hindu, apparently. And um, I was uh, watching some of her videos. Unfortunately, I did unsubscribe. I never thought the day would come, but after the rabbit hair, if you will, okay, hair, bunny, slash bunny incident, um, I think I cried. And I don't cry, okay, your girl, sun, moon, rising, all, all fucking Aquarius, I hardly ever fucking cry. Apparently, she had some, like, six to seven, eight bunnies electrocuted. She used that skin on some chairs. And here's my, like, little opinion on that. I hate the word hypocrite because all of us, all human beings are hypocrites. How do we eat meat, but then when it comes to dogs and cats, we draw the line? That's quite fair. So, I mean, I consume meat, so it kind of is like, okay, so you eat meat, but bunnies, where you fucking draw the line? Kind of do, okay, but these are so like look at that and you got this chair like I I'm really trying to see things unbiased I'll be like okay if it's a cute chair I'll be like fine the bunny was worth the sacrifice okay shout out to demonetize sitting in Dubai but I really told myself like if it's a cute chair like let it be what the fuck is this this is like a chair in 1920s when they actually had to cut up rabbits because I mean no one had the brains to do fabric stitching shit okay hey if you're new here I'm just going on a tangent because I have bunnies it hurt a bit so I did unsubscribe I was like I'm not gonna consume her content anymore like this really hurt like shit anyway with that being said and then after the bunny stuff she turned vegan who's taking this seriously anymore she turned vegan now and now she's apparently Hindu according to my research over here she is she's a Fatima she is a whole sister she is practicing the Islam religion. She's Muslim, y'all. Eid Mubarak is gonna come a bit early for y'all. Y'all better stock up for Ramadan right now because she's going to go to the market and stock everything up, okay? When I was like gathering information, she was still Hindu. I don't know where to start with this. So, I have a very, I don't know, unpopular take with the whole Trisha Paytas thing where I think, personally, culture appropriation is kind of like annoying to a point that, I mean, like, I made a video before talking about how, like, that's fucked up if you try to steal someone else's culture. Now, a year later, my opinions have changed, okay? And it's just that, you know, there's culture appreciation and there's culture appropriation, okay? A lot of times when Trisha, what she does, I feel like she is like having fun, like she's appreciating it. And then there's like a video that comes out and I'm like, yeah, you're not appreciating shit. You're literally mocking. This is like a costume for you. Like if we sit and like, you know, monitor people's, you know, hair and their nails and the way they talk and the stuff they eat and the stuff they wear. And we're like, you're stealing Egyptian culture. You're stealing Asian culture. Like there's nothing for us humans to do on this planet. We all share and love and enjoy people's culture. Like, and it's also like as stupid as saying like, you can eat sushi. Okay, that's stealing like Asian culture. Or you can do math because that's like you're stealing Egyptian culture like you know like where does it fucking stop then I can't have American burgers and I can take part in like Diwali and other festivities because it's not a part of my culture like come on y'all so it just gets very nitpicky and I've seen a lot of comment sections and I'm like this is just so fucked up y'all don't even get it like I don't think what Trisha's doing is evil I think what she's doing is like you're allowed to enjoy the culture like you're allowed to be vegan if you want you're allowed to go to the temple and like do whatever you want that's like good for you yoga but she does all of it so wrong and she does it as a costume okay for example here she does does yoga first of all already wow it doesn't help that she titled it bhakti yoga and already she got destroyed for not capitalizing the b word so great and apparently like you're not like she's doing the yoga which is good i mean i do yoga everyone does yoga but it's just that you're not supposed to keep reciting that yoga is supposed to be a peaceful thing you need to just shut the f literally the only time you need to shut the fuck up and do the movements and she's like struggling she's like chanting it i don't think you're supposed to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Like, how many religions are there, guys? Like, I'm just looking at this. Like, how many religions are there? She tried all of them. Is there any other religion left? She's She's been everything in the book. Everything you can think of. Anyone else, like, feeling left out? Like, hey, she didn't really appropriate my culture, AMC. I wish she gave me a try. Let me know. Like, leave it in her comments. She might, like, try to beat you. Because at this point, she's been everything you can think of. It doesn't stop. I mean, her YouTube is whatever. Her TikTok is where you're like, okay, I'm gonna jump off the cliff. Okay, so this is like whatever, okay? Let's go to the next video. It says Hare Krishna Mantra, okay? And the shirt. I'm sorry I'm being so nitpicky, but holy shit, the shirt is where I fucking draw the line. 
American reunion. <laughs> And it's also so disrespectful, like she'll have like a yoga Hare Krishna as one of the thumbnails and the thumbnail next to that is the naughty list. Or she'll have she'll have like a uh, review from Adams and Eve and I'm like, oh God. Uh, and I, I told this to my friend, I'm like, she's going to be Muslim next and the world's gonna come to an end. Like this is when the world ends. It wasn't 2012, it's when Trisha turns into Muslim. And again, there's nothing, like I'm not very well educated with a Hindu religion. I'm Christian, Protestant, but I, I have a lot of Hindu friends and I get invited to a lot of like Hindu activities and festivities and I'm like for all religion if that makes sense. I have Muslim friends, I have a lot of Hindu friends and I do a lot. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing called a Hare Krishna Yoga. Like none of my friends ever invited me to like a Hare Krishna Yoga. So again, there's like little to no research. This is all for clicks, for views. And I hate to say this, like I make the most money when people don't like what I have to say or like people hate on me. My lowest I've ever made is like 500 to $800 on a YouTube video where I'm just like vlogging, eating cupcakes, talking to my friend about how beautiful the sunset is. But you know the video where I have like unpopular takes, that shit goes viral. That's when I get the views and I get the clicks and I make shit ton of fucking money. Money. and Trisha is like pretty smart because she's doing that she's literally a troll and all these comments and likes you know we're just feeding into it if that makes sense and um, now YouTube's taken out the dislike option like you can't dislike videos anymore which is also great for her because um, wow she gets like pretty much I feel I don't like this part about YouTube though like she gets wrecked every single time and you know what like Indian people and Hindus also like they're very kind and like very nice people I swear to god like if I call up my mom or my grandma who's like in a little Indian village right now if I call them up and I tell my relatives a white friend of mine I'm not saying Trisha or like she's a celebrity I'll just be like a white friend of mine actually I'm breathing the same air as Trisha right now so we're like 20 minutes away from each other but if I call up my relatives in India and I'm like, hey, um, this white woman really wants to be like brown brown. Like she wears this Indian outfits and she dances in the middle of the road. She wears bindis and she collects these idols and she like does yoga. She loves Indian food. She's like vegan now. My mom will be like, oh, okay, that's cool. You gotta get her over with us. Like we gotta meet this girl. Like we'll teach her how to like cook. My mom's gonna give her like a butter paneer recipe. Like that's how like brown people are. Like if you go to the street, it's, it's just the internet where you're like, oh, that's cultural appropriation. Stop trying to be us. We don't care if you wanna be us. Like you can be us, but you can be us the right way like personally i don't like to wear indian wear because the shit's pokey it pokes me everywhere and i have like sensory issues i'm always half naked or i'm always wearing like a big old shirt so if you're wearing indian wear and dancing around like this like more power to you like my parents would be so excited to meet you but you are trisha paytas you're one of the most hated women on the planet and you're doing it all wrong and that's why you're getting the hate i guess like trisha sees this she just needs to know like if you just do it right no one cares like no one's gonna be mad at you like if i if, even if i go to the streets of india and be like oh my god look at this white woman dancing in indian outfits they get fucking pumped they get excited. They want to know more. They want to watch more and they're actually like rooting for you They're like, oh my god, fuck. Yeah, you're in like America and wearing Indian outfits and eating Indian food Like thank you for like repping us No one's like mad at you for being us because her defense most of the time is like I can be whatever I want Like it's uncultural appropriating. We're not think we don't think you're appropriating our culture You're just doing it so wrong. But yeah, this is just my opinion. I don't speak for the whole fucking country I'm literally the most uneducated person on this planet. It's just my little passing soft gentle criticism like I don't want to be yelling angry and screaming like fuck you for being one of us like she I don't know showcased a temple on her TikTok and no like American youtubers show like a part of India so that's that's ex I'm actually excited like I'm from like woo you're in a temple that's cool I've never been to a temple here and it's actually in LA and I'm in LA and I might fucking do it you know you never know so I'm like excited but let me know what you think I don't speak for the whole country obviously one time my best friend asked me like name one no name three strong political leaders in India and I said Nicki Minaj I am the worst person to give opinions on anything but well this is like my space and you know I'm just here to just add a little opinion or whatever and um I'm just going through the comments and I feel awful. Like she's getting shredded on the internet. I have been shredded on the internet. It is not fun, let me tell you. And like she's trolling, but it's not even funny. You know, her other trolls are pretty funny when she's like a chicken nugget. There's one she's dressed up as Kristen Stewart from Twilight. Like that's fucking funny. Like I was dying looking at that. But, and it's just like, it's just so annoying. Like I don't find her funny anymore. I think it, it was the bunny incident. Like I'm not gonna lie. I have a heart, surprise, surprise. But the bunny incident is where I was like, yeah, this is not, like I'm not laughing at you anymore. <laughs> Simran's like, I tell her to touch some grass, but she has already killed all the grass. Okay, we're done with this video and I'm sure a lot of Hindus who are watching this like I don't think you're offended Like are you like actually mad punching walls right now writing down a ho whole comment for Trisha to see she doesn't even read the comment section You're laughing at this right, but like I don't know. I'm I don't know what what killed it for me I usually laugh at our content, but it, it's something where I'm like 
Mm. You really can't piss uh, the Hindu religion off. They're, they're very peaceful, very kind. They're very like, they're one of those people who like to like listen you out first and then like, you know, tell you what the fuck is up. Oh, I can't watch this, y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm dying. Okay. Oh, I need to go get my phone for the TikTok. You don't have to chant, y'all. You can just do it quietly. Like, you don't need to chant. I don't know who told her to chant. You can just do it quietly. You're fine. And it's like quite peaceful when you do it on your own. She's like choking up because you're not supposed to talk when you do yoga. Okay, and then this is her, the other one. Today I visited a hair. It doesn't help. I, I fucking die every time I watch this. A hair Krishna temple temple for the first time. Today I visited a hair Krishna temple for the first time. I got the audio. It's Slumdog Millionaire, a movie that talks about a poor Indian boy who turns out to be a millionaire and how he suffered all his life based on a true story. She's using that music for a trip to the temple. I like her outfit though. No, she's not wearing pajama pants under her skirt. <laughs> Those leopard shoes, I love it. I mean, good for her. I like her purse, I, I like the outfit, whatever. Um, but can we, can we take a look, like what should have been the actual TikTok with this voiceover? Oh my God, you guys wanna see what I culturally appropriated today? I got these coloring books off of Target, picked up this doll from Walmart. I stole this purse from a guy named Vikram. I'll throw these bracelets away once I'm done with this video under like my OnlyFans bed or whatever. Yeah, that could have been the voiceover, I would have laughed. I would be like, okay, this is funny, haha. So she does go to an actual temple in LA. Let me know if you want me to go, cause I will, and I will dress up right, okay? I'll like buy an Indian outfit or whatever. Um, I can't see when it's flipped but it does say it's Har Re Krishna Krishna or Krishna Hare Krishna community okay where is this place I can't read founded by Acharya okay Acharya is having a heart attack somewhere in LA anyway um, I think you're not allowed to s film the temple but okay yeah you gotta put your slippers out and walk in you can't be on your period and stuff like I don't know if she knows all these things so, I, oh, it's like a store. Okay, so then she goes to this temple and she picks up these dolls. We went to the vegan cafe right next door. This is what I bought. We got a couple statues of the Hindu gods. We had a coexist sticker slash bookmark, which is what I'll use it for. Little bindis that were so cute. Okay, so here's just like, you know, I'm just like thinking about showing this video to a random person like in the streets of India and they would like be so excited. They would have like the biggest smile on their face, as I said before. It's, it's fun and exciting to see somebody from not our culture, try our culture, be interested and try more things. We, we appreciate that. But if I, if I show this video and tell them it's not Christian who she is as a person, they would love it. They would adore her. Like people will be repping for her. But yeah, that was her TikTok and that's just my opinion. Like Trisha, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Like I'm no, I'm no one to stop you, but I wish you just did it right. You do things right, pronounce it right, and you don't chant while doing yoga. And you just, if you just do it right, everyone's fucking happy and everyone's gonna love it. Like the reason she gets a lot of views on these videos are there are people who are, who's never been to a temple, who's never seen these idols and they just wanna see like, what's up? Like, what does it look like? And they, they can only see through Trisha which is sad. I don't want you to see it through Trisha. I want you to see it through somebody else. But you know, not a lot of American influencers do this, you know? So it, it's very interesting to see what she does. Um, I'm very interested to see next, she is appropriating the Islam religion apparently next. So she's going to be our sister Khadija for the next year. Um, I think Ramadan's like in February, if I'm not wrong. I'm very excited to see the feast that she pulls up. She's been everything and everyone. But yeah, that's my take. Let me know what you'll think. And yeah, by the way, I've been busy moving, looking for apartments, and you guys are gonna get more LA apartment vlogs soon. And I'm vlogging everything on my TikTok. It is uh, Auntie Twinkle. Follow my Instagram, Auntie Twinkle. Subscribe, don't forget, and also like for engagement. And I will see you guys in my next video.